enjoyed the moment. Grimsby 4, Preston 1. Lee Duxbury wins the award for the Barclays Young Eagle of the Month for Yorkshire, chosen by Trevor Cherry, the former manager here at Bradford City, and confirmed by the England manager, Graham Taylor. And it's second place, Grimsby, wearing blue this afternoon, their change strip, who get us underway, and you can rest assured that no one will be keener to do well here than Neil Woods, formerly a Bradford City player, suddenly found his scoring form again when he joined Grimsby Town on loan, now a full-time Grimsby player. Dermot, Childs, Cunnington, good one-touch stuff from Grimsby, Reese, and that's a chance for Cunnington, goalkeeper did well, Sean Cunnington got in there, only got two goals this season, but he's always looking for the chance to steal forward from midfield, and Bradford really got themselves in trouble here, attempted back pass, and Cunnington was almost there before Tomlinson, Tomlinson did well, a chance for Bradford to break, Torpe, Duxbury, Abbott making the overlap outside him if he wants it, four ahead of him, here's Abbott. And Bradford playing with some confidence, Torpe's header, wasn't very far wide, and he certainly found some space. Useful cross in, and Torpe, watch how he gets away from the markers here, not very far wide. in it. Grimsby a little unsure whether to push out for offside or not. But she got it away, not very far. Watson likewise. Child looking for the goalkeeper, it's a bad ball, Torpe! And a good important tackle from Mark Lever. Saved his side there as Torpe's foot swung in. And he found the interception from Lever which saved I think probably a certain goal. Gary Childs just didn't look, played the ball straight into the path of Torpe, and it's a perfectly timed challenge from Mark Lever. Watson for Reese. Dermot supporting. Watson again, Childs has come inside. Woods, Cunnington, first touch let him down. Well. He should never have got the chance, certainly the Bradford manager, Do John Doherty, will feel that his defence should have had that covered. And suddenly, Sean Cunnington found that he'd got a second chance, and he put it wide. Again, Lever's challenge enough to ensure that there's no danger to Grimsby. by James and Tracy without looking gave it straight to Childs and Bradford could be in trouble here useful interception by Oliver still Grimsby threatening Reese Dermot in support on the touchline if he wants him goes inside for Woods Watson couldn't get it through to Gilbert Cunnington oh and the ball was spinning viciously from the right foot shot from Sean Cunnington did it very well but straight at the goalkeeper Abbott, Torpy, Duxbury, three ahead of him, good run by Tracy, Lever stretches out one of those long legs. Duxbury thinks about the short throw for Abbott, sides against it, away by Lever, Abbott losing out to Cunnington, here's Reese. Reese gets the free kick. Kevin Jobling. Probably the most improved Grimsby Town player last season. And he played partly in midfield. Reese, can he turn his man? Almost. Cunnington! Well, he's had more efforts on goal than anybody else so far, Sean Cunnington. this one again Jobling's long free kick 
Reese and Sinnott tussling for it. And a first time right foot effort from Cunnington. In the end, well wide. Tinian. McCarthy in there with Butcher. Butcher saves the ball going for the corner. Bradford still have it. Tracy. Tinian. He's still interception by Gilbert. Now then, Grimsby have three against two. But Gilbert slows it down somewhat. Here's Reese. Grimsby still pressing though. Still four plays forward. That's a useful ball forward for Watson. But a good challenge. Well timed. Robbie James back. Helping the defence. And Tommy Watson unable to capitalise. Reese held the ball up very well this afternoon, Tony Reese for his supporting players. Here's Cunnington. Simmons interception. Gilbert's cross. Childs. Well, he's not the best header of the ball in the Grimsby team, he'd be the first to tell you. Got the header on target, but no real power. Duxbury missed it altogether. Away by Jobling. Reese with Oliver. Oliver won it. Cunnington beat James. And McDermott again taking the safer option. And Grimsby's portion in a way understandable in the team who lost the last four games away from home in the league. Forward by Cunnington. Not to say Grimsby haven't been threatening going forward occasionally. Here's Gilbert. Chance of a shot. Always looked as though he was going to screw it just wide of that post and back. But it was certainly as good a shooting chance as it's been in the second half. He did everything right except the final shot. James challenging, beaten by Cunnington, who's had a good game. Childs asking Watson to run. And McDermott is making an overlap down the right. Here's Childs. McDermott still down the touchline. This is Reese. McDermott fighting for it. Watson. Can he turn? Chance for Watson. Tommy Watson. It's Tommy Watson's first goal since the last time Grimsby Town were featured on goals on Sunday, back in October. On that occasion, it was a close-range effort. On this one, it was a goal worthy of winning a match. It's Bradford nil, Grimsby won. Cunnington forward. And it's beaten by Mitchell. Reese and Woods to run. Oliver was in with the challenge. McDermott. Woods. Beaten by Oliver. Yorkies, Yorkies, watch the score is the chant from the Grimsby fans who are enjoying this thoroughly. Childs, still Childs, chance is here, and it must be a goal for Gilbert. Dave Gilbert, ninth goal of the season, and how they're enjoying it. It always looked on from the moment Gary Childs got free in the penalty area. He's got that extra yard of pace, looked up, saw what the options were, and that's the best option. Way by James. The afternoon has got very cold, and it will feel colder for Bradford. As Grimsby have another free kick. He might pick up. A third goal to boost their goal difference even further. It's already good. 
substantially better than Southend, who led the table at start of play. Here's Reese. Can he turn? Cunnington. That's the fourth or fifth attempt on goal that Sean Cunnington's had this afternoon. He doesn't seem to mind too much that that one didn't go in. His side, two goals to the good. Gilbert, jobling. And the referee blows the whistle and Grimsby have ended their run of four successive away league defeats with a convicted victory. Tommy Watson was the man whose goal made all the difference. It had been a fairly sterile afternoon, but his goal changed everything. They got a second one, and we have a final score that reads Bradford City nil, Grimsby Town 2. Tommy, it looked uh, a fairly sterile game until, until your goal, but after that, you looked very much the better side, I thought. Yeah, we started to play more stuff, more confidence, obviously, throughout the team, and we just started to play better stuff and got things together more. Now, you hit the goal with your wrong foot. Yeah, well... I was cut inside and it was on my left foot, so I had to go on my left foot and I flew in on that. If you're going to have an off day against a team, any team in the third division, you're going to have a difficult time. But if you have an off day against one of the top teams, then you're going to have problems. Now, I felt from very early on in this game, this looks like nil-nil. But the difference was that they're a team that's been in the top two all the season long. And they sniffed the, the fact that they could actually win it and they then took the initiative and they came on and they won it. Well, there's not a lot you can say when a team performs like that for you. Um, we did everything that, that is required to go into a super team performance. We defended well, competed very well, and the second half, I thought, our football was of a very, very high standard. It doesn't surprise me and the many regular Grimsby followers the way we played, particularly highlighting the second goal, and the players did magnificently. There's nothing you can say, really.